Hello guys, I'm in a service call. It's, uh, this is a nice apartment complex. Uh, one In one of the apartments, the GFCI in the bathroom is not working. Um, it's just plain not working. We don't know what, what we're going to find. So it could be anything really. It could be a faulty GFCI. It could be that it's wired wrong. Uh, often, People wire GFCIs backwards, the line and the load. And um, I don't know, we'll find out. Come with me, come, come inside with me and then we'll see what's going on. So this is the uh, GFCI receptacle we're going to replace. So of course the first thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to test it. So this is an outlet analyzer. It's going to analyze uh, the whole receptacle. And at the same time you can create a short so it pops the, uh, the internal breaker that is in this GFCI. So uh, we're going to put it in and then uh, see these two, uh, the test button and the reset button, we're going to create a short with this device. So it's supposed to be green, the center is supposed to be green, but there's no power. And when I press, when I press this button, it's supposed to create a short, uh, but it didn't. So we're going to use our multimeter as well, and uh, just to make sure that there's no power. So I'm going to put my two leads on the receptacle and we'll see uh, if we have any power or not. I know we're not gonna have any because uh, the first test didn't show anything, so now I'm, I'm testing now and there's nothing. It's just residual uh, voltage. Remember that the smaller slot in the receptacle is the power side. And then we have the neutral side, which is the longer one, Right here is the longer one, and then we have the ground, which is that one here in the center. Uh, so that's just so you remember. So now it's a good time to uh, cut the power at the breaker. And we're going to remove the cover. And now we, we have two more screws. We're going to remove them. So these are Phillips, Phillips screws, and once you remove those, uh, we're going to pull the receptacle very careful. We don't have power though. There, this light here, when uh, right at, at the right corner, when it's green, that means it's okay, and when it's red, it means that there's no power or there is something wrong with the receptacle, but there's nothing at all, so uh, more than likely the GFCI is not good. So I'm going to replay, you know, even though it shows that it's not good, there might be still power in the back. So um, I see many cases like that. So uh, we're, we're going to pull it out and then we're going to uh, make more testings. So uh, let's remove, uh, uh, let's pull it out all the way and then let's remove the tape, this uh, black uh, electrical tape. And you're supposed to tape all the receptacles just to make sure that they don't touch the metal boxes and then create a short. Now that we have the power back, I'm going to show you some tools. Uh, it's important that you use the right tools. I see I have, I have my multimeter, I have my non-contact uh, pen, and I have my uh, Analyzer, so I'm using my pen right now. Let's turn it on and when it shows red that means there's power so There's power on There's no power on this one, but there's power on the other one the one that shows red So there's power in this one here, but there's no power here so there's no power here and um, This side has power the one on the right and That's the low side and there's power and this is the line side and there's no power so uh, it is backwards 
they supposed to put the power, this power is supposed to be on the line side here, but it's wrong. You're always supposed to put power to the line side. And from then, if you want to protect other outlets, then you can do so. So we're going to switch them back. We're just going to swap them. We're going to put the, um, the wires that brings the power to the line, and the other ones are going to be to the load. But we might do something different too. So uh, let me look at this outlet. Okay, so we're going to switch it back. So I'm using this screwdriver. I don't know if you have seen it before, but it's not a Phillips, it's not a flat screwdriver, but it's both. And if you see those screws, the electrical screws on outlets are made that way. They are neither or, but they are both. So uh, this screwdriver, it uh, makes your job easier and it grabs the screw very nice. So now I just remove this side. I'm, uh, I'm going to remove my other side just so uh, I swap them because remember my line it's in the load and it's supposed to be on the line side so I'm just swapping it back and we're gonna do the same with the neutrals uh, each black each each hat has its neutral so you have to respect that too because I win uh, when we deal with GFCIs they are very sensitive Okay, now we put the power back on and I'm pressing at the test button and the reset button and it's supposed to engage when there's power and I'm, I'm testing it with my um, analyzer and there's no lights. It's supposed to be a green light in the center. There is no light. So uh, when you press the test, it's supposed to pop and then reset would reset it but I press both and it's not doing anything and I'm gonna check for power and I have power I have 120 but there's not power in the front so definitely there's something wrong in the guts of the GFCI so we have to replace it my pen shows power in the back but nothing in the front so we're gonna replace the receptacle As I turn the power off to the breaker, I just realized that there's another wire here in this from the same breaker that goes to an office and they put it after um, after the line, so on the low side. So they have another wire from the same circuit that goes to an office that they had on the load. So when the GFCI fails, then the power to the office where the G where the Wi-Fi is for the computers, it fails. So so this uh, this is the same breaker though. So um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna separate all the whites and we're gonna separate all the the hats from the same. This is just one uh, breaker though. So if you have more breakers in the same box passing through or splicing here or uh, in the junction box then we couldn't do that but we're gonna grab the two hats and the three whites that we have here and we are going to uh, splice them together and we're gonna connect everything to the line side so one more time this is uh, pay attention because it's kind of tricky so i put all the uh, the two hats together and i put a, an orange splice an orange wire six inch wire and i did the same and i, I put a wire knot so uh, i'm gonna do the same with the whites i'm gonna put them all together in one bunch and just another white is gonna come from that so everything is gonna be on the line side that that way, if the GFCI fails, nothing else, nothing else is going to fail. Uh, since we don't have anything else to protect, if there was another outlet, we can protect it on the low side. 
but there's no uh, this is a sink in the bathroom but there's nothing to protect and when you protect a light or a refrigerator or in another office it's a nuisance and it's just not right it's better to have everything on the line side and nothing on the load so this is what I did again my two hats on the gold screw and my two whites goes on the silver screw okay so we installed it back and I'm testing it with my uh, receptacle analyzer and it's green that means that it's right now I'm gonna press this that's creating a short and it turned it off just as it's supposed to so this tool is designed to make a short pretending there's a fault and now I'm just resetting it and the light went back to on and then just testing it again I'm creating another short so um, it's working very good so just to recap we found three faults uh, number one it was uh, backwards the line was on the load and the load on the line and then we found that the GFCI didn't work we tried to reset it and it didn't reset like this one right now is resetting it and then uh, we find a better way to wire it also we find out that there was power behind but there was not power in the front so I guess that's it for today I hope you like this video if it was useful to you like it and subscribe and have a good time and I'll see you next time see you later thank you